Welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at uh, how to use pig for extract transform load type operations where you have a data set, you want to uh, upload it, you want to modify it, you want to save it in a certain format and so on and so forth. So to get started, I have here a file in my Windows operating system, realestate.txt. And I would like to uh, move this file into my Hadoop environment to get started. So I'm going to open the file browser and within that I'm going to navigate to my data and class 2 and I will now click on the realestate.txt and drag it and drop it inside the class 2 folder. Having saved the file inside our Linux environment we'll now take a look at the contents of this file just to get an idea. So it's a file about some real estate listings. I'm just going to double click and click display and it will show this in the gedit uh, text editor that's provided with this uh, Linux operating system. And uh, it has uh, six records. Each record uh, contains information about a particular house that is listed in the real estate market. So this here is the uh, listing ID. Uh, next we have the date, uh, which is the year, month and day format. And then you have the list price, the square footage of the house and the address of the house. And so you have six such records. I just want to go over some terminology here. Now each unit of data can be referred to as a field. So the first field pertains to the ID, the second field pertains to the date, the third field pertains to the cost of the house and so on. Each row can be called a record or a tuple and each column could be uh, referred to as a field or an attribute or a column and this entire set of data could be referred to as a bag. It's called a bag because from set theory we don't care in what order these records are stored. So it could be in any order you could have 1, 4, 3, uh, 5, 2 and 6 for example and it would not matter because the system will still be able to find the record that you want. So that's why it's called a bag. Please also notice that uh, this is a comma separated file. That means each field or each um, data point is separated by comma. And that is important for Hadoop as well. Uh, Pig will want to know what is the uh, character that separates each field and we'll have to specify that it's a comma. So now that we have uploaded the file that we want to manipulate using Pig, I would like to get started opening a Pig script. To do that, I'm just going to minimize these two here. Open the terminal and uh, just check the uh, path that you're in pwd i'm in home training i'm going to cd into my data and then do an ls and then cd into class 2 and do an ls again so now you just have the real estate.txt file and what i want to do now is to open a file called real estate.pig so i will use gedit and i will put an ampersand at the end now the purpose of doing that is to make sure that this uh, gedit process is carried out separately and you will continue to have the use of this particular terminal. And so when I do that, I have a new file called realestate.pig and I can continue to use this terminal for other purposes. Now I just want to add some code here and I'm just going to paste it here. Let's see what this code does. So what we're doing here is we are asking pig to load data from this folder here, my data class to realestate.txt using pig storage comma. So here's where we tell pig that the data is delimited by commas. And that is important because then pig can separate our data into separate columns, each with its own data type and so on. So what are those columns? Those columns are a listing ID, the date listed, the list price, square feet, and address and they correspond to each of these columns listing id date price square feet and address and you can see that the data type also corresponds to it the listing id is an integer i will come to the date listed in a, in a while the list price is float and you can see that it's a floating point number namely it's a number with decimal digits and uh, square feet is integer address is a character array a character array is just a string of characters and now we'll take a look at date listed. Now date listed is uh, should you would expect it to be of some kind of a date type. There's actually a date time data type in pig, but we're not using that here because oftentimes the date that you are supplied with will not match the date format that 
pig expects. So you take it in as a character array and then you do some additional manipulation that we'll talk about. So in this code, what we are doing is we are taking the listings um, table, temporary table that is being created here. And we are iterating through each record in the listings table. That is, we are first uh, pulling out this record and then this record and then this record. So that's what the for each command does. It says for each record in the listings temporary table generate. What I'm doing here is I'm again generating listing ID, um, list price, square feet and address. Those are the first, third, fourth and fifth um, fields um, in this uh, original definition. And what I'm then doing is I'm using a to date a function that is a, a function that is defined within pig and I'm basically passing the date listed field from here and I'm telling pig that look this is a date so convert the string that's in this format y y y y m m d d that is your month and date into a proper date so that pig will recognize that as a date and assign that the same field date listed and finally, I'm going to dump these listings. That is, I'm going to dump the contents of this temporary table out onto the screen for us to look at. So let me just save this. Before we can run this particular file using pig, we need to create a folder called class2. And within that, we need to have a file called realestate.txt inside Hadoop. So I'm just going to emphasize that this particular uh, file should be located inside Hadoop. So let me go into the terminal and create that uh, file within Hadoop. So let's take a look at Hadoop fs dash ls um, forward slash. So this looks at the root Hadoop directory. And within that, there is a my data subfolder. So I'm just going to look within my data. And there is a subfolder called movie, which is not something that we, we, we will use at this point. So we need to create a new uh, folder called class one. So I'm going to do MKDIR here, and that will create a folder that we specify and uh, not for class one, class two, basically. And I'm going to create this folder called class two within the folder, my data inside the Hadoop distributed file system, not within Linux, but in Hadoop and you press enter and uh, then you will see now if i do an ls that there is a folder called class2 and now i want to copy um, this realestate.txt from the linux file system which is this one here into the hadoop file system so i do this i have a, a put command realestate.txt from the linux file system to the Hadoop file system in my data class two. Now, if you do an LS in class two, you should see a file called realestate.txt and there it is. So now that this file is here, this file can then serve as an input to this particular pig command here, which says load this my data class two realestate.txt using pig storage. So now I can issue a command in Apache pig and say pig real estate dot pig. I'm sorry. And what I'm doing now is I'm giving this script file, which is this file here. Um, I'm feeding the script file to the uh, pig environment within the Hadoop system and the pig environment will look at this file. It will execute every single line of code here and it will do what we tell it to. So here, what it's going to do is it's going to load this uh, flat file, uh, the contents of this flash flat file, realestate.txt into this temporary table called listings. And it is then going to convert the date, which is initially fed as a character array or just as a plain string. It is going to convert that to, to a proper date using the to date function. And then it's going to dump the listings onto the screen for us to see. So if I press enter now, it'll take a little bit of time. So this took me a couple of minutes to run. So you should give it some time. And now you will see that the original data is now returned to us, but in a slightly different format. So the change is that the date here is uh, reflected in 
the way that pig looks at date, which is date time. So there is a date here and then there is a time that begins with the letter T here and then there's hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds and so on. Um, so that's a date time format. Everything else is um, as we expect. So this is a simple script that takes in a flat file, loads that into a temporary table and essentially returns the contents as it is. So this just illustrates how we can get started with pig. Thanks for watching.